Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. I got some great news. I don't know if you've been watching uh, television or hearing the news, but the show that you have to watch this week, Gutsy. That's right, Gutsy. Take an unforgettable journey with Hillary Clinton and Chelsea Clinton as they go on adventures with some of the world's boldest and bravest women. From household names to unsung heroes who make us laugh and inspire us to be more gutsy. So what I heard about gutsy, it's absolutely have to mention it on this channel. Now, gutsy premiered in New York early this week. And right now, uh, they're visiting the Toronto Film Festival, spreading this amazing show. Even the star of Law & Order Special Victims Unit, Mariska Hardate, she attended the Apple's gutsy premiere at the Times Center Theater. The show is directed by M.J. Delaney and also executive producer and showrunner Anna Chai. Now, gutsy premieres globally on Apple TV+. Plus starting on September 9th, 2022. So what I have for you today is some fantastic footage. Um, the screening presentation of Gutsy at the Time Center Theater in New York City. So I want you to listen to Anna Chai, the executive producer and showrunner, introduce the executive producer, Hillary Clinton and Chelsea Clinton. And then you get to view um, statements made by the executive producer Hillary Clinton and Chelsea Clinton at the Toronto International Film Festival. And also the director and the executive producer and the showrunner, uh, MJ Delaney and Anna Chai. This is definitely a musty show. I leave that up to you. Please view and comment. I would love to hear your comments. Without further ado, God bless, and here you go. Gutsy was a labor of love, and it was made possible by a small army of like dedicated and talented individuals. Um, and I think I speak for all of us when I say that it was uh, an honor and a joy to work on this show. Um, I want to give a special thanks to Apple TV+, Plus, Hidden Light, Left Right, Huma, and Barry, and the Secret Service um, <laughs> for supporting you know, the team in every way possible. Thank you so much. Please enjoy the show. And um, our hosts, uh, I think, are coming out to say a few words. <laughs> We are so excited to be here uh, with all of you. This has been literally a labor of love, and so many people were involved in helping Chelsea and I navigate this new world uh, that we found ourselves in, and we cannot be uh, more grateful than uh, we are standing here with Anna, who did an incredible job from start to finish to keep us all going. Uh, we want to thank Apple TV Plus. So let's give Apple TV Plus a big round of applause. Thank you all for helping us create something that we are incredibly proud of. Um, we also know that none of us would be here without our remarkable contributors. And we are so profoundly honored that so many are with us here this evening. We are so honored that you spent time with us, that you shared your stories with us, that you shared your vulnerability and your courage and your resilience and your community mindedness and ultimately also your joy and your optimism. And it was really important to us that we include women, not only from kind of every walk of life, across every spectrum that we often think of when we think of the word diversity, but also women of different ages. So we have women that are much younger than me, and we have women that are much older than my mom, and we're really proud of that. Could we actually ask all of our contributors to stand for a round of applause? Please, everyone who was in all of the episodes.
Today, the world lost a gutsy woman um, with the uh, death of Queen Elizabeth, a woman who uh, served her country with such distinction and honor going back 70 years, but really before that, as a child, as a young woman during the war, her sense of duty and honor and commitment, um, I think are uh, real models uh, of virtue uh, that we can each learn from uh, going forward. It is such an honor. Uh, we were thrilled. It's my first time here, but I've always followed the news from TIFF, and uh, to think we're here together is pretty exciting. Well, and the energy is just so dynamic and energizing, mm -hmm. and so I think we came already very excited, and now we're even <laughs> more excited um, to be here. Well, we think there are gutsy women everywhere in the world, and we have highlighted the ones mostly from America, but a few from our trip to Paris. And in the interviewing that we've been doing with reporters and commentators from around the world, everybody's saying, well, we have gutsy women. We say, we know you do, and we want to shine a light on the whole idea and then have conversations started and maybe in different countries around the world, people paying attention to you know, what women are saying and doing and standing up for. Something I do think though is also important about this being a global audience and why we are so proud that Gutsy is here at TIFF is it's not only in the United States where women are under attack, where our rights are under attack, where our opportunities are being pushed back against, where the space that we have claimed for ourselves is attempted to be shrunk. It's really everywhere. And so that also means a lot to us because of the global challenges women face that we're now able to be on this amazing global stage sharing and talking about Gutsy. We hope this does reach every generation. It was an intergenerational effort. We have people in the show that are younger than Chelsea and older than me. Uh, and we want, you know, conversations between mothers and daughters and grandmothers and sisters and friends and even a few dads and brothers and sons because we really do think that everybody has a story to tell and we want uh, Gutsy to spark more stories. The ones that we tell in the series we are so proud of, but let's keep the conversation going. It was really important to us, as my mom said, that this is an intergenerational, multi-generational effort. And while so often we think of young people on the front lines of issues certainly that we care a lot about, you know, fighting climate change and building climate resilience, fighting for criminal justice reform in the United States, and we highlight some incredible young women who are in that work. We also though, talk to some older women who are in that work, because I think sometimes young people think like, oh, like these fights are new. Unfortunately, no, like these fights are very old and we have a lot to learn from the wisdom and the experience of, of our grandmothers who have been in this work for longer than many of us have been alive. For us, it's super exciting. We just had our premiere in New York, and then to be able to come to Toronto, um, I mean, frankly, I'm a little starstruck, because there are a lot of people here, a lot of amazing filmmakers here, and it's so wonderful to have this conversation and let um, the secretary and Chelsea, you know, shine. I mean, we've kind of seen it for the last year or so in production, and I'm just, I think we're really excited for the rest of the world to see it, and Canada is technically our international premiere, so it's awesome. What? I got from watching everybody else's episodes is it just it's just inspiring to be a force for good in the world. I think that's kind of what unites all of the contributors across the whole show is that they're using their time and skills and courage to actually make a difference and fight the good fight. I think in the U.S. there are a lot of um, issues that affect women and children that we want to bring attention to, especially because there are so many amazing women doing work for good. And so I think it's just a reminder that you have to keep fighting for these rights. You have to keep speaking up. So it's not guaranteed that you know women are going to be treated equally. And um, hopefully the show will sort of uh, shine a little bit of a light on that. There are a few ways that people could be more gutsy. Uh, it's, I think it's you know speaking up, saying the unpopular thing, asking a question that people don't really want to hear, standing up for other people. Uh, I think all the women in this show do that in such a um, 
like friendly and sort of relatable way. They're like not getting in your face, but they're doing it with a lot of humor and a lot of humanity. And so um, I learned a lot just from being part of the filming, both from the directors and the contributors and the Clintons. And I hope that sort of comes through in the show.